Welcome to part 2 of Everything Audio in Magic's Movie Edit Pro and Video Pro X. If you haven't watched part 1, I suggest that you do so first. Here are the topics that will be covered in part 2. The last few topics are some features that are only available in Video Pro X, so Movie Edit Pro users may want to see what they are missing. As before, I'll refer to Video Pro X as VPX and Movie Edit Pro as MAP. Go to the Effects tab, Audio Effects, General. This shows most of the same effects that we saw in the right click menu. Moving any of the sliders turns on that effect in the keyframe area. Adjust the volume turns on the volume in the keyframe area. Create a keyframe and the color and eye buttons turn on. It's a bit messy with the track curves on all of those points, so I'll turn them off or reset the curves. Clicking on the eye button turns on the object volume curve in the timeline. Move along the timeline and change the volume. You can see that a second keyframe is placed, the curve is adjusted, and the point shows up on the curve. You can adjust the points in the keyframe area or on the curve. Thus, volume, panorama, auxiliary 1 and 2, and the sharp and smooth filters and distortion can all be keyframed and have curves. You can use the curve mode to quickly draw and modify the object curves. If you have more than one curve, select the one that you want from the keyframe area and draw on the object. The two auxiliary sliders send the amount of volume that you want to send from the object to the effect strips in the mixer. This is similar to the sends that we saw in the mixer, but this time it's just for the object. Thus, although somewhat limited, VSTs can be used with objects, not just tracks. Moving any of the sliders turns on that effect in the keyframe area. Clicking on the audio cleaning button opens an interface. This can also be done by double clicking on an audio object or from the right click menu. Under the first tab, noise reduction, there is declipper, denoiser, and a dehisser. The denoiser has advanced settings where you can use preset noise samples or get your own. The dehisser also has some presets. The Equalizer tab contains a simple equalizer with some presets available. The compressor has some presets and you can adjust the ratio. Stereo FX also has a long list of presets. There are transport controls and you can apply the effects to just one object or all. Any applied effects will show beside the title of the clip. You can save to a file the effects applied to an object and load it later for applying to other objects. Any that you create will show up under the audio effects presets if that's where you save them to. The echo reverb and time stretch resample buttons open the object effects screen where you can apply these effects. Tempo pitch resample allows you to change the tempo and the pitch. There are options for the algorithm selection. Reverb and echo have some presets. Unfortunately, there's no possibility to add VSTs on objects here as there's no plus button like there is in the effects in the mixer for tracks. Placing snap markers on transients can help align cut points and effects in video clips and photos with the audio. To illustrate the use of snap markers and transients, I have some music created using SongMaker, I've zoomed way in and made the track height quite high. To see the transients, it's best to change to full waveform in the program settings as I have here. The snap markers tool can be used to add snap markers to an audio object by placing the playback marker where you want and pressing the button. I'll add a few snap markers at the existing cut points of some photos. You can move the playback marker from one snap marker to another by using the shortcuts Control alt page down and Control alt page up I'll turn on Show Transients. We don't see any yet. I'll scroll the timeline horizontally a bit to better center my snap markers. Clicking on Align Snap Markers with Transients analyzes the audio for transients and moves the snap markers to the closest transient location. This is not always the desired transient, so you may have to move the snap markers. 
Now I can adjust the cut points of my photos to line up with the snap markers. Once analyzed, the transients show up when turned on, so you can zoom in and add new snap markers manually on or near the transients. Here are a bunch of preset audio effects that you can apply to an audio object. The first one removes the effect. Applying an effect, like Foam Booth 1, shows the effects used beside the title of the object, as we already saw. You can open the effect under Audio Cleaning, like the Equalizer, to see the settings that were applied. If you have a song in the project that has BPM, or beats per minute information, like this one on track 5, use the Musical Editing Adjustment, under Edit, to cut video clips and photos to the beat. In this example, the cut points are moved to the beats, even though you don't see the beat markers on the audio object. If there is no BPM information, the Remix Agent will open to assist in determining the location of the beats, and then place snap markers on the beats. The cut points of the video clips and photos will be adjusted, for the most part, to correspond to the snap markers, that is, the beats. The BPM wizard is about the same as the Remix agent that we just saw. Open it from the right-click menu. There's a lot more to this tool than what I show here, including manually adjusting the markers. The BPM wizard will create snap markers on the audio object, but it doesn't adjust the photo and video cut points. Once done, apply musical editing adjustment as before, and the cut points will move to the snap markers. Create a range if you want on the timeline. Go to Edit, Wizards, Soundtrack Maker to open the interface. Select a musical style from the drop-down, Moods, Mood Changes, check the Automatic Cut Adjustment, check Apply Style to Selected Range if the range is set, and create Soundtrack. When done, and if you're satisfied, click on Apply, and music will be added onto the timeline with cut points adjusted to the beat. You may have to modify these. A series of photos and or video clips can be sent to the slideshow maker. Select a style template and then background music that comes with a template or use your own. Slideshow maker will adjust the cut points to fit the music. For better cleaning or effects, an object, group of objects, tracks, the entire soundtrack, can be mixed down and sent to the external audio editor that is linked to the program settings, folder tab, audio editor. Music editor 3 comes with MEP and VPX and is linked by default. A right click on the audio part may show the feature Edit Wave externally. If it doesn't, you have to do a mix down manually by isolating exactly what you want by soloing the track and defining a range, then using the mix down shortcut Shift D. This will create a WAV file on the timeline, replacing the selected audio. Now, right-clicking on the WAV object will give you the Edit WAV Externally feature, and selecting it will open the WAV file for editing in the linked external editor, where you can use all of its tools. Upon closing, the updated file is saved, and the file in MAP or VPX is updated with a modified version. Here is an example of using Magic's SoundForge Audio Cleaning Lab with the audio part of a video object. Like the older Audio and Music Lab, this too has spectral cleaning and more advanced tools than Music Editor 3. Again, after editing, exiting with saving, the wave object on the timeline is updated. In MEP only, there's a share menu, and you can send your movie directly to Magic's Music Maker if you have it installed for dubbing, that is, adding music, narration, and sound effects. Make sure to have nothing on track 5 and put the playback marker at the beginning of the timeline. 
Mute any tracks or objects that you don't want to sand. Open Share from the top menu, Dub Movie, select Music Maker, and MEP will do a mix down. It creates an audio video file in AVI format and opens it in Music Maker. Turn on the video monitor to help with dubbing. Create and add music, sound effects, narration, etc. I'll save this in case I want to edit it again. Before sending it back to MAP, mute the original audio unless you put effects on it and want it mixed with your new audio. Open the Share menu, use as background music, and select the same version of MAP that's already opened. The audio file created in Music Maker will show up on track 5 in MAP starting at the location of the playback marker. Under File, Export Movie, you can export a range or all audio to a WAV or MP3 file. This is usually used as an alternative for further processing of the audio in an external audio editor like we saw with the Edit Wave externally. There's a difference between VPX and MAP when exporting to a WAV file. In VPX, the sample rate can be set to 96 kHz. In MAP, 48 kHz maximum. If you're going to burn to a DVD or Blu-ray, you can add an intro video clip with audio. You can also add an audio clip that will loop when the DVD Blu-ray menu is showing. I mentioned that VPX can have multiple languages for use with a DVD or Blu-ray. The language track is created in the timeline. On the burn screen, the multiple languages will show up as buttons. This means that you only have an audio file per language, not a separate video per language. VPX only can export EDL files or edit decision list files for use with a DAW or digital audio workstation like Samplitude Pro X and import EDL files created by a DAW. Neither MEP nor VPX can handle MIDI files, but VPX does handle MTC or MIDI timecode. Thus VPX can use a virtual MIDI cable like Loop B1 that allows it to be connected to another program, usually a DAW like Samplitude Pro X, in Master Slave and Slave Master modes. This synchronizes playback between the two programs so that you can edit in both at the same time. This is very useful for scoring a video. As you can see, both MAP and VPX have extensive audio features. I may have missed a few of them, but that's about all that I can think of. If you would like to see any parts of this tutorial in more detail, please leave me a comment. Thank you for watching. Till next time, enjoy.